What's up guys? It has been a long time since I posted a video, but today whew, I'm out of breath. I've been sweeping the porch here at the Bohemian Cowgirl and I am getting it ready for uh, some guests that are showing up in a few hours. So I figured I'd do a little quick tour for you guys since I've never done that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is, I think it's a 2008 travel trailer. If you guys have been watching me for a while, um, you've seen what it looked like before. Me and my mother painted this mural on it probably about two months ago, I think, something like that. If you want to see what it looked like when I first got it, you can go back in some of my videos and find it in the camper renovation playlist. But yeah, we did that just to kind of give it something a little different here in the park. Um, it's definitely the only one like it here. And over here, I added a hot tub. This is actually an inflatable hot tub and it is one of the easiest, best things I've ever invested in. I've had multiple of them before um, and when I'd move, I'd just sell them and buy new ones, um, not because they weren't working or anything like that, but hauling them is not as difficult as a regular hot tub, but because you can deflate them and roll them up, but they're heavy and I just don't want to deal with it because they're so cheap. I'll just buy a new one. So um, I got that. And then over here, I bought this really cute bohemian hammock and set up this little patio area in here for the guests. Um, I added these shades here. Um, if you know, you know, but yeah, that's been a long time coming. Hopefully this one stays up. Um, I got a grill over here and I just picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace. It has a bunch of outdoor games. Um, I'll show you. I picked this thing up for $10 off of Facebook Marketplace. But um, yeah, it just has, um, you know, some bocce ball and uh, for, cause here at the park, you they have bocce ball, they have uh, horseshoes, um, tennis, basketball, a couple other different things. Um, and then this is the Bluetooth speaker if you wanna listen to music, or I got an outdoor projector, um, a movie projector, which is in there with some DVDs and a DVD player, some of the pool chemicals. Um, we live really close to the Peace River and it's known for um, you know, shark tooths and fossil hunting. So I made some sifters, there's some cornhole, um, and here's just some more things, tennis rackets and some yard games, uh, the cornhole beads and whatnot. And that, so close this up. There's Bantley. Yeah, hi Bantley. You good boy. All right, so we're gonna head inside. Here's just the lock box I put on for guests so they can get inside. All right, so I got you on wide angle now. So we're gonna start over here in the master bedroom, so to speak. The door's gonna slam. Um, here I have a, I think it is eight inch memory foam topper on top of a queen size mattress. So it is super soft, super comfortable. Everybody always compliments how um, comfy the beds are. And I just added some cute little furry pillows that I got from a wholesale resale store. They were like a dollar a piece, brand new, super cool place. I'm not telling anybody where it is. Um, and then gifts, of course, I always leave every guest a gift bag with some goodies in it. And over here, all this used to be carpet. You've probably watched the videos of me changing the floor a few times and this is the third time I've had to do this floor and rip it all out because I ended up getting water damage and that's a whole nother thing but that's in a previous video if you want to go back and watch that. These here were covered with carpet and I ripped all the carpet off and I took the beadboard that I put in the ceilings of my tiny house and I also put in the ceilings of my schoolie. And then I just got some trim and I stained it and add the trim on there and I think it looks super cute. All these cabinets used to be brown and ugly so I painted them all white and I spray painted the um, handles black, hung up and made these curtains back here and that's pretty much it. Painted the walls um, and hung up that little sign right there. So backing up we have the TV entertainment divider area. 
Oh, I also put up new curtains here and a new rod. So if you want a little bit of privacy, you know, you can just close the curtains right there. This um, is actually wallpaper um, or contact paper from the Dollar Tree and um, just cut that out to size and I placed that all in there in the back, painted, um, painted the little knobs and I put a new TV in and add a little bit of decor and that is that. Then moving this way into the living area, this is a futon pull-out couch. So if you have like two kids, um, they can sleep on there or one small adult, um, they can sleep on there as well. But up here with this trim, I took it had like all padded, ugly, um, like fabric trim around there. I took that all down, got that board and stained it and replaced it with, with all this board here. Um, added these curtains, which I made. Oh, and up here, which I didn't show you in there. This right here is just, um, it's not, is it burlap? Maybe, I think it's, yeah, I think it's burlap. But, um, and I just cut that to size and put those in the inset little places there. So to give it a little pop of color. This is some antler ears that I found in my daughter's shed and a basket that I got from a thrift store. I just added that and put them together. And I think that looks super cute. Um, coming over here to the kitchen, got more of the same. Um, I just, you know, bought a couple little things. Uh, the air fryer is the only thing brand new that I bought. Oh, and the coffee pot. Um, everything else, like all the little decor over here. I've got all these little clay things and the, the little wicker. This is actually for paper plates, but I'm using it as a little thing for the coffee station. Um, the cups, all that was thrifted. Same with this stuff over here. Um, thrifted jar, thrifted little thing that I'm putting the honey in for the tea. Um, this is actually um, a some crystals that my uh, that Donnie's brother found working. He found a whole bunch of them, and you guys know that I like crystals, so he gave me some, which was very nice. Thank you. And got your microwave, double sink. I put in a new faucet here, and then I added this actually just a couple days ago, little water purifier, and. Same down here, painted. Um, over here, you just have, oh, I bought that too, new. Um, a toaster and then a thing to dry your dishes on. And here's just, you know, oh, um, coffee, extra coffee stuff, spices, um, some other little canned goods and stuff like that that people can use if they want or choose to. These super cute little things I thrifted, of course. Um, so heading down this way, we're coming into the sink vanity area. This was a little bit of a nightmare. There's a video on that if you want to watch me uh, do that late in the late hours or wee morning hours, um, trying to get all these patterns connected together properly. But I think it turned out beautiful. I really wanted because I was going for all the muted tones and everything back here. Um, that I kind of wanted to give a pop of color somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I picked that wallpaper. I got that from Amazon and just painted around it. And around the little uh, knobs here, I took that same burlap and just wrapped it around and made like a little sheathing for that. Oops, hit the garbage can with my butt. Also that rug I did get um, off Amazon as well. This one I've had for a while, which I think I got off Amazon a long time ago, and I was using previously in my staging jobs. Hi guys. <clears throat> so moving into here, you got the little bathroom area, which you got a small little tub and a shower. Um, if this is kind of too small, Donnie barely fits in here and he's a big, you know, husky guy. Um, but he can get the job done just fine. Um, but if people prefer or cannot fit in here, there is a shower uh, at the front office that guests can use as well. But redid the floors in here. Got this cute little rug off of Shein, actually. My daughter introduced me to that. And super cute stuff, super cheap. It's kind of like Wish but way better. Like Wish, you'd get cheap stuff, but you'd get it and be generic and cheap. And it would take like three months to get to your house. 
Shein is kind of like the same prices, but it's actually good quality stuff and it only takes less than two weeks to get to you. So, so that's super cool. Um, down here, I just have a wicker basket for the garbage that I thrifted and another little thrifted uh, container over here that I put extra toilet paper in. This up here, I did myself. This is the, underneath that's the old ugly fabric that I was telling you that was above the, the kitchen out there. Um, I left this one on and just covered it with that burlap and added this cute little crochet curtain here that I thrifted and a couple other cute little pieces of decor. This shower curtain I got off Amazon. And then in here, of course, I added some plants, these cute little plant holders I got from Shein as well, as well as this um, new uh, shower head here with the filter beads in it, Shein. And these cute little um, containers here that I put the shampoo and conditioner in, those I got off Shein as well, and they come with different labels. Um, you know, you can pick whatever you're going to put in there. Obviously I wanted shampoo and conditioner and yeah, I just put a little towel there so they can throw on the floor so they don't get it wet. Coming back here into the back bunk area, <clears throat> this is actually a bunk bed up here, which I've kind of turned into storage, um, because there isn't a whole lot of big storage area. This is just some of my personal stuff I keep up in there. And then they can use this up here to put their luggage or what have you. Um, and then I have some games over here and extra sheets. Back here, I made this cute little cozy nook. I did the curtains um, and then I added these little thrifted pieces that I had laying around for a while. Oh, I forgot to show you what was in here. This is just a storage closet where I keep um, fresh clean towels and washcloths, extra pillows and blankets and cleaning supplies for the guests if they need them. Okay, so coming back around this way, we have um, the fridge and freezer that is currently not working. Um, well, it actually works on propane, but for some reason it's not working off of electric right now and I just haven't had the time to dive into it um, and figure it out. So I've turned it into a little uh, area where you can have a full body mirror um, down here. It's just a garbage can and some cleaning supplies and a yoga mat. And oh, up here I just had, this is an extra piece of that wood that is up there at the top trim and I cut it and it fit in there perfectly. So it ties that side of the kitchen in with this side of the kitchen over here. This my mom got me for Christmas, I think, or my birthday, I don't remember, but super cute, totally my vibe. It's actually um, supposed to be a lampshade and you put like one of the little hangy lamp, the light bulb thingies down the middle, super cute. Over this way, now there is a video on this as well. Um, this actually used to be a dining area and these two seats right here this one was back like that and this one was turned this way and then you had the dining table in the middle which was this piece here and um, yeah you can go watch the video if you're interested in seeing how we did that but um, I just covered the bottom cushions with some fabric that I had that I made some of these curtains out of and um, Put some pillows that I thrifted. I actually found these at a thrift store and they are, I don't know if they're real or not. I hope they're not because that makes me sad, but I still like the way they look and it's very possible they might be, but I don't know. Anyways, these of course I thrifted. There's several different uh, wicker basket lids or whatever and I just kind of layered them together. Put a fern there and um, you know, I added all the trim just like I did on those pieces up there in the front in the in the bedroom area and added these pieces here and made Benny a little a little sleeping area he loves to go in there and sleep and then this this was actually turned this way so the cabinets were on this side here and it was just like a little table divider in between um, you know the dining area here and while you walk in. Um, so we turned it the other direction and turned it into a little seating area, um, bar stool area where you can sit and eat. And um, this side was open. So I got this 
from a company called Bodega. Uh, they did sponsor this and their products I have been using. If you guys have been watching me for a while, I've been using their products for over two years now and I absolutely love their, their stuff. They're, it's super comparable and a lot cheaper than all of the other brands out there, but it's affordable as well. So because that fridge and freezer over there is not working, I just stuck this in there and it fit perfectly in this little cubby there. So, and then you can also reach it from in here. So you got your fridge on this side and then you have your freezer on that side. Super cute, super cool. Okay. And um, also I leave everybody for their first night, like a complimentary breakfast with some fruits and some oatmeal and granola bars and little muffins and stuff like that as well. And then here is a cute little guest book that I made with a, this is actually a photo album and um, I turned it into the guest book and I got these little wooden letters from the Dollar Tree and I put the name of the Airbnb on it as well as a little camera there so people can come in and take pictures and leave it for the guest book, which is super cute. These, of course, I thrifted. This is actually a placemat and um, this might be one as well, I'm not sure, baskets, and I just kind of hung them up there on the wall like that. This was that ugly fabric, I just recovered it with the fabric that I already have. And that is it. All right, guys, so that does it for this little tour. I have got to get out of here. The guests are gonna be here in probably about 30 minutes. So if you guys are interested in renting the Bohemian Cowgirl here in Arcadia, Florida, I'm going to link all the links down below to my Facebook page and the Airbnb link itself, as well as my other Airbnbs I have too, which um, I do the glamping tents and I have a schoolie now that is up on Airbnb. And fun little bonus for you guys here um, that I haven't told anybody else. We have a number four Airbnb um, that Donnie just purchased uh, last week. And we are renovating and working on that right now. And that is going to be, most likely will be up by the time you guys see this video. So if it is ready to go, I will link that Airbnb down below as well. Um, if, if it's not, um, I don't know. It'll be there when it is ready. So I will see you guys all in the next one, whenever that may be. And I hope you all are having a great weekend and a great new year and all of that good stuff. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.